Well, as always, there's a lot of noise going on. We've got the fans and the cooling, and we've got excavation work behind the warehouse. And so I apologize for all of the noise. Not much we can do about it. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to complete our component board. So we already have mounted this uh, temporarily in place. Everything's going to be removed uh, for some additional work we're going to be doing, but we've got the location for the controller, leaving an inch on this side for our ABS sideboards that will go on. And we'll actually thread this quarter inch thick aluminum plate so that we don't have to get to the back side of it once everything's installed we'll just thread a bolt into there um, and so the other components that are going on the component board like I just mentioned we're gonna have the side panels that will screw on to the either end we're gonna have a pulley right here and that's because the throttle cable is coming from this direction when this is 90 degrees up vertical that would be front of the vehicle and VW throttle cables are not they're they're fairly rigid they're, they're not designed to make a bend and so we splice some fine braid stainless steel cable onto the VW one to make the bend and go around the pulley and connect to our throttle lever. So we want this, this is our mark right here where the throttle cable aligns. And when we put our little ball joint right there, it's gonna be approximately right there. So the other components are our shunt and our main contactor. Now, the traction pad cables are going to be coming from below and they're going to come up like this so we'll have our most negative right here and our most positive right here they'll be right next to each other from here out of the main contactor we're going to go over here to our positive so there'll be a line that goes from here to here and then from the negative on the shunt right here, we're gonna go from here around to here. And of course, these are the three phases that go to the motor. So we've got the uh, wire that goes from the throttle, from the TPS here, will go to our terminal strip that'll be over here. Probably out of view of the camera, maybe. <laughs> and then we've got the two wires that will go to the wiring harness that uh, control this contactor and those like I said come from the wiring harness from the controller and then we're going to have the two shunt connections there that go forward to our JLD 404 in the dash so those wires have been run uh, our wiring harness hasn't been run, but it will be run. It goes down below and runs in the channel back here and will come up through our ABS board and to our terminal strips. So one terminal strip will be all the stuff that's coming basically from here. So we're gonna have three wires here, two there, five. These two make seven and we're going to take one uh, connection off of here, off this side, uh, that's traction pack voltage, that will go to uh, two locations. It's going to go to the uh, uh, charger, three locations. The charger, the, um, I'm sorry, no, the charger doesn't go here. Two locations, that was correct. It's going to go to the uh, JLD 404, that's where it gets its pack voltage from, and also the DC to DC converter right here. 
the uh, charger is actually comes off our main disconnect switch and uh, at, at the switch not at this point so so this coming in here is coming from the switch but this is just going to be where we take off because the the wiring that goes to the front will be in this area here next to this board as well as the uh, DC to DC converter will be up above all this so that's why on the other side of the engine bay so that that's why you know the uh, charger is on one side because the charger and the main disconnect switch are on the same side of the engine bay you'll see that again when we're back in the engine bay so anyway gonna put the pulley on first get the proper alignment for our throttle mount the throttle and then we use that to gauge this because we want to have clearance to bring a wire through here or you know cable or double lock cable and then through here and then there will be a hole over here where these four wires will go down through and there will be another one here where this uh, harness will go down through so not much to it I'm just giving you the big picture of why it's laid out the, the way that it is so that we don't have any interference with everything it also allows us to get to all these attachment points so we can get to the shunt nothing's blocking that if the TPS ever had to be replaced we can get to that nothing is blocking anything else so that things can be you know serviced or replaced quickly and easily so that's uh, that's what's up I'm not gonna bore you with all the drilling of the holes and this and that I'll just cut back and we'll be ready to roll component board is just about complete we'll add our fittings our coolant fittings to our chill plate you notice we've got them marked in and out because we routed a certain way here's our pulley for our throttle and once this is in the car and everything one of the last things we end up doing is we'll cut the length of stainless steel line that'll go from here and be joined with our stock throttle cable so the wires coming out of here go down through this hole and disappear there's a hole right here which all four these two and the two on the shunt will go down but all these things are mounted in place now and we're ready to move on so what we're going to do next is I'm going to remove the controller just because it's heavy and bulky. I've just got it temporarily held on with uh, two bolts. We'll remove this. Once this is removed, we'll put on our fittings. And then we're going to put this back in the vehicle and take the measurements for our side panels. And once we have those measurements, we'll cut the side panels. We'll tap, you know, drill and tap holes here to mount those in place and then we can mount the items that go on the side panels like I said there'll be a couple terminal strips on this side as well as the KS, KSI relay and a fuse will go on this side panel on the controller side over here will be our coolant reservoir and that's all that goes on that side so not not much left to do here uh, we will run the wires once we have the side panels done we'll run the wires from here to the side panel and uh, so that they're done and then they just pull back through the side panel um, and then that's the next step so we'll I won't get too far ahead of myself here so that's what's next well I got the component board in place now normally they are connected to the um, adapter prior to putting the motor in so the motor adapter flywheel clutch assembly with the component board go in at the same time and um, I didn't want to remove the motor pull the 
adapter off, attach the component board, and put the adapter back on the bell housing. So I thought I'd shortcut it. Well, it may have saved me a little bit of time, but it was kind of a pain in the butt getting the screws because they, you know, those bolts are like right here and right here. And there's an angle there, and then there's the body of the vehicle. There's a cross member there. So there's really no room to get it from the bottom. I had to get it from above. And getting it from above. Well, those screw heads are such that I don't know if zooming in will help here. But they're up close enough to the battery box that the shoulder on this is up against it and so it didn't want to start threading. So I actually had to start threading it by hand, get that bolt going, and then I could finish it off with the extension. And so, ugh. and so, that's a fairly long extension to to reach in there and do that. But I got it. I, but we got her done. And so now we're going to take measurements, and the left and right sides are not going to be the same. They sell tomorrow. And so. Uh, We'll, we'll just take a measurement on where that needs to be and I you know I like to make things the same if I can and maybe maybe I can on these if I if I bring the ABS below the plywood here and just come across like that and then you look beyond that piece of ABS you see this other Piece, which won't be ABS there's actually a metal cover that goes over that but anyway um, I might do that just for simplicity's sake but yeah time to get the ruler and tape measure out and start to uh, start doing some measuring Having a square is a handy thing to have when you're doing these kinds of things. So you can see exactly what you need, get the clearances, so forth. So I know that this is going to be a little different, but not much. I'm pretty much just going to make them rectangular on both sides. So the driver's side is going to be 9 by 11, and uh, the passenger side is going to be 8 by 11. So that's going to be easy. And, uh, but I think I'll leave that for another day. Write down the specs and uh, I'm going to clean up and uh, head for home. I, I have to commute down to this warehouse. So and it's a little, little ways away from home. So, so anyway, I, uh, I got a little bit accomplished today. And so the little bit that I showed you and all the other things I had to do while I was down here today. <laughs> and not counting the toolbox. <laughs> so we'll continue this episode. It just won't be today.